Today we're going to be installing the carbon fiber Varus front lip for my BMW F30. And you already know we got it in the trunk in BMW sedan fashion. <laughs> so yeah, we're really looking forward to getting this lip installed. I already did the ceramic coating on it, uh, Optimum Gloss Coat. It's a two year ceramic grade coating that I have on the rest of my car and exterior parts. So let's go ahead and cut to that B-roll. All right, we're here. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have my jack yet because my brother took it, but he'll be dropping off soon. So I guess I'm going to drive up these ramps. I just hate doing that. <laughs> I prefer just to jack the car up and then slide the ramps under it because even when I put on the front lip, it's not gonna clear it uh, coming back down. So I'm going to attempt to drive up it for now and then I'll be able to use the jack when my brother gets here. So first step, we're going to go ahead and take off the 8mm bolts that are under here attaching to the front bumper and then all the push pins as well. So there are quite a few. Get started on that. So far, so good fitment wise. We got our ends lined up pretty good. So we just put in two self tappers on each end and then one in the middle. So we should be able to close these gaps as much as possible. We put in the other self tapping screws. So here we're using a Dremel to go ahead and drill out three holes in the middle of the bumper. Because what we're going to do is use three body panel bolts. These will fasten in the middle. So the body panel bolts weren't long enough to reach through the middle part because it's a bit thicker. And it's hollow inside so we went ahead and just drilled out a bigger hole so that the uh, bolt fit up in there and into the fastener. And these bolts have a washer included. so. 
They're gonna be really secure and should never come out. And I didn't use 3M tape at all because um, I plan on maybe changing this lip down the line, so didn't want to have to deal with that. I don't really drive my car extremely fast, but maybe later down the line if I'm ever doing tuning and I need to do a uh, log, I'll go ahead and fasten the lip down a little more just in case, but I think it should be good for now. Alright, so I got self-tapping screws here on each corner. Managed to couple throughout. And then we also put in some body panel bolts. Uh, three of them, just in the middle. And I hand tighten these down. So they're really snug. And then we just put a a bit more self-tapping screws in here all along. So yeah, it should be good. I don't think it'll go anywhere. We got fitment pretty good. I think it's honestly as good as it'll get for carbon fiber. A little bit of gappage right there, but what more do you want unless this car unless the uh, lip was like molded to the bumper? <laughs> So yeah, that will do. Alright, so my camera battery died and I forgot my mic, so I'm going to have to use my phone and this wired mic. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. We got the front lip installed, carbon fiber, and it looks so much better when you have carbon fiber all around the car and not just on the rear end of the car. So uh, hopefully I'm going to get some side skirts here soon and then we'll have the full kit and it's going to look amazing. So um, yeah, I'm going to get some pictures here soon, and thank you guys for watching. I'll link all the hardware that I used in the description below for your convenience, and subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.